So the New Orleans Saints quarterback, Drew Brees, is now the NFL's all-time leading passer. Experience. Incredible. Brees. Wide right open. Wide right open. And Smith. What a way to do it. Truly a remarkable call. Truly a beautiful night. And it couldn't have happened to a better human being. Drew Brees is now the NFL's passing king. But I got a question. Why is it that Drew Brees is not getting the respect he deserves? Why is it that I am watching shows, sports shows, that are continuously trying to discredit Drew Brees? People like... Maurice Jones Drew. Two years ago, the Saints were seven and nine, right? Mm -hmm. Drew Brees was throwing for all these numbers, all these yards. That's why winning matters. You can go out and ball and rush for all these touchdowns and all these different things and lose, and it don't mean anything because this is a winning game. It's a production game. You got to win. That's why you put guys like Big Ben Roethlisberger ahead of Drew Brees right now. Ooh. He has multiple Super Bowls because he has multiple Super yeah, Bowls. Yeah, they do. Right? They do. Eli Manning, his, his name is up there because yes. what? Super Bowl, Super he got Bowl. multiple Super Bowls. People like Doug Gottlieb. First, look, I don't want to take a ton of the shine off of Drew Brees. Yeah. But I don't think any of us, even though the statistical dominance is there, would say he's the greatest quarterback of all time. He's up there. He's also helped tremendously, as was Peyton Manning, by playing indoors. That helps. When he was with the San Diego Chargers, he had issues with arm strength. Yeah. A lot of it is playing indoors and playing with a great play caller. His quarterback rating is 10 percentage points lower. His interceptions are up. His touchdowns are down. The wins yeah. and losses are way down when they play on the road. Yeah. So he has helped. It's it's always been stats on steroids playing indoors. Yeah. Additionally, he runs he runs the benefit of playing for arguably the best play caller in the last 25 years in, consistently in the National Football League. Sure. You play for a great play caller, you play in a perfect place, and the Saints were the Aints for a long time. Oh. He wasn't the first quarterback to take them to the playoffs, but he was the first quarterback to win a playoff game. Um, you know, the, the trade th that that ended up bringing him to San Diego was one of the great trades in the history of the sport. And then signing ultimately with the Saints changed the sport forever. But he has been helped by playing in a dome, yeah. playing with Sean Payton. Like he did take a ton of money when he took that huge contract about four years ago. People like Shannon Sharp and Skip Bayless. Football records are not as sacred as baseball records. Um, they don't mean the same thing because when Drew Brees is finally done with this record, he might be somewhere 78, maybe even 80,000 yards. And if I say 80,115, nobody's going to know what that means. Skip, it's just so hard for me to compare errors for the simple fact I played in an era where the quarterback didn't receive mm -hmm. these kinds of protection. Mm -hmm. and, 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 but I say that to say this. Drew Brees is playing under the same rules in the same era as a lot of other quarterbacks. And no other quarterback is consistently putting up the numbers that Drew Brees is. Mm -hmm. So I can't knock him for playing in this era, but it's just hard for me to compare him to a John Elway. Sean Payton, who's the greatest business partner Drew Brees could have ever <laughs> wished for, mm -hmm. prayed he for. He is. They protect Drew Brees like crazy. Last night, he was protected like crazy. He has time to throw mm -hmm. the football. Mm -hmm. So when, when you step back from this, you say, well, does he have an advantage because he's throwing it so many more times? And remember, <laughs> He's tied for 20th as, in, as Drew Brees in yards per attempt, which is not very good. He's tied with Dante Culpepper and Trent Green and, and Matt Schaub in yards per attempt. So, translation, dink, dunk, dink, dunk, right? Okay, so you're getting a lot of dink, dunk completions. A lot of swings, a lot of check downs. Okay. Yep. You know, I have absolutely no problem with anybody giving their opinion. I mean, it's your opinion. Whatever you feel is on you. But I do have a problem when I feel like people are giving their opinion about stuff that they know absolutely nothing about. And I feel like this is the case when it comes to Drew Brees. Now, let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room. Bump all of this stuff about Drew Brees not being tall. He's not the prototypical quarterback. He's not the guy who was the first pick in the draft. He's not what everybody wants. Bump all that. This isn't about that. 
This is about the national media trying to discredit a quarterback who is not sexy. I I'm just being honest. They are trying to discredit Drew Brees because he's not sexy. And I'm not talking about looks. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about sexy because that's what national media wants. They want sexy. They want the quarterback to break the records that throws the ball down the field 70 yards. They want the quarterback that dances around in the pocket and breaks off for a 50-yard game. They want that quarterback to reside in Boston, in Miami, in Los Angeles, and in Dallas, and in Philadelphia. That's where they want it. They don't want a quarterback breaking records and, and being a household name that resides in a small city, a small media market like New Orleans. No, 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 no. Those are for the, the, the Boston's and the New York's of the world. We ain't got no time for no New Orleans quarterback. Come on, man. I wouldn't have a problem if I actually felt like these people knew Drew Brees and watched him every single week perform. But I really honestly believe that they don't. They are too busy focusing on the Dallas Cowboys and how were they self-destruct this year. Um, Big Ben Roethlisberger and Antonio Brown, will they ever get it together? Will Le'Veon Bell be back? LeBron James for the Lakers. That's all they focus on. Undisputed, if you pay attention to the show, all they do is talk about three things. LeBron, Dallas, Pittsburgh. LeBron, Dallas, Pittsburgh. They just switch it up. Okay, that's all they do. I said it before. Put some respect on this man's damn name. Because this man deserves all the credit in the world. They are trying to make it seem like anybody can do what this man is doing. Oh, he plays in the dome. There are so many other quarterbacks that played in the dome. Oh, he doesn't have the big arm. There are so many quarterbacks out there that had a big arm. I mean, one that comes to my mind right away is Jeff George. Jeff George, he had a big arm. He played... Indoors, right? I think he played for the Colts and some more teams, right? I think he played for the Falcons, too. And he threw the ball 70 yards downfield. And boy, was it beautiful. He threw the ball 70 yards, and you're like, wow. And then you're like, whoo, he just threw a pick. Don't give me this stuff about arm strength and talking about where he plays. It takes a special person to do what he did. Oh, he played in a, a Tom Brady, a Peyton Manning world, and now Aaron Rodgers, he emerged. What if I told you that Drew Brees has a winning record against Peyton Manning and Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers and Eli Manning and Ben Roethlisberger? Because he does. But that's what they don't want to tell you. They don't want to tell you these things. Because they are trying to make you believe that this man is just a, a, a disciple of Sean Payton's offense. And I'm not trying to take anything away from Sean Payton because he is what they say he is. He is a great play caller. But you cannot just put any quarterback in the system that the Saints play and expect for them to throw for 5,000 yards because it's not going to happen. Then Doug Gobley. Oh, my goodness, man. Do you even watch football, dude? First, he started talking about how the Saints were the ain'ts, which was true. I mean, I grew up in the 90s. You know, we did wear the swagman bags on our head, you know, and we were embarrassed about the team. And then he started talking about how the Saints never won a playoff game until Drew Brees uh, came through the door, which is a lie, okay? The Saints did win a playoff game. Aaron Brooks was the first quarterback to lead the New Orleans Saints to a playoff win. But I wouldn't expect Doug Gopley to talk about that because he's so focused on the next segment to talk about is Jason Garrett going to get fired. Drew Brees is an incredible quarterback, and him becoming the NFL's all-time leading passer was something special. And Maurice Jones-Drew. <laughs> Maurice Jones-Drew? Really, dude? He talking about greatness? He talking about multiple Super Bowls? 
dude. First off, Maurice Jones Drew only won one playoff game in his entire career. This man has never won multiple division titles. One playoff win, and dude had David Garrard, Byron Leftwich, and Blaine Gabbard join him the football. And this man want to talk about great quarterback play. So I would expect for him not to know what the hell he's talking about because he don't know a damn thing about good quarterbacks. Look who he played with. Man, Maurice Jones Drew, seriously, dude, man, chill out. Look, I understand, man. You, you, you're out of the NFL. You need to feed your family. And you're trying to stay on TV, trying to stay relevant. But at least if you're going to come through with something, make sure you know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> Eli Manning is better than Drew Brees. Man, seriously, dude. Man, Eli Manning, and I like Eli. I mean, he's a New Orleans native. And, you know, I got a lot of respect for him. But have you seen Eli Manning play? I mean, Drew Brees is completing almost 80% of his passes right now. Eli Manning is completing about 80% of his passes to the referee out of bounds. Congratulations to Drew Brees for being the NFL's all-time leading passer. He deserved it. And national media, once again, put some respect on Drew Brees' damn name.